Let's talk about Haiti. You know, in January, we had an, a, a worldwide outpouring of sympathy for Haitians. And nothing wrong with that. I'm not making fun of this, of this magnanimous morality. You know, <clears throat> my wife and I contributed. Actually, she did. I, went, I didn't contribute a damn thing, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> she contributed. Uh, the, uh, and, and people helped Haitians from all over the world. They helped these Haitians. Uh, now, and, 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 and uh, do you remember the Stevie Wonder song? Stevie Wonder was on television and singing, and it was just emotional. And very, very, and how many people remember the Stevie Wonder song? We are the world. <laughs> no, it wasn't we are. I don't think I can't hear anyway, so I'm half dead. <laughs> well, most of us have forgotten the Stevie Wonder song. The fact is, most of us have forgotten the Haitians. That was three, almost four months ago. Um, how many people thought, got up this morning thinking about what they could do to help the Haitians? Well, I did think about the Haitians this morning, but only because I was going to be giving this talk. <laughs> <clears throat> but how many people got up this morning and thought, you know, some sugar would really be good in my coffee? Or, you know, a donut would really taste good. How many people had that thought? That's a persistent thought. You can stick with that thought. That, that thought has legs. And, <clears throat> and so that's the kind of thought that could have done far more good for the Haitians. All we'd have to do is to let Haitians sell their sugar to Americans. And you do more over the long haul to prevent future you know, disasters, not because you prevent future earthquakes, because you generate some wealth. Let Haitians help themselves produce wealth, and they could build construct buildings that wouldn't cave in.